Today, they begin their quest to close out the decade with the first repeat title since the Steelers. But the 49ers are led by a new face, new head coach George Seifert, and he hopes to keep the stars shining over San Francisco. When you speak of the Colts, you speak of Eric Dickerson. Today, he could join the NFL's elite 10,000-yard rushing club. But in this league, no man is a team. And last year, not even the great one could carry the Colts to the playoffs. Ron Meyer feels he's balanced the offense with new faces like Andre Horizon. And the Colts are ready to join the elite. the dome in Indianapolis where it's bound to be loud so stand up and cheer the NFL's back 70 years young and coming at you on CBS this is Albert Bentley gets the first carry for the Colts and gets a good block on the corner and Bentley Knocked out of bounds up near the 40-yard line, and it's an Indianapolis first down. In Indianapolis, Hinton, Dixon, Ray Donaldson, the All-Pro at center, Utt, and Baldinger, the down lineman, Pat Beach, the tight end. In the backfield, as we mentioned, Dickerson, the great one. He's joined now by Albert Bentley, Brooks, and Verdan. The speed backs outside, rising the number one pick, and Clarence Weathers come in on passing situation. Down at the 40. This is Dickerson. Needs a block, gets one. And he's out close to another first down for Indianapolis. Two carries, two first downs. The tackle made by Chet Brooks. Chandler's first pass. Drills it. And it's another first down. It's complete to Verdan to the 36-yard line. Situation along with Eric Wright. Six defensive backs now for the 49ers on third and eight. Carries it down to the 33-yard line, and he's nailed by Daniel Stubbs. Good snap, good hold. And it's no good. Off to the left. Let's go on the 33. Montana drills this one, and it's complete to John Taylor. Taylor caught the winning pass in the Super Bowl. Ward, as Dan told you. Thompson, Armstrong, and Hand up front, the linebackers. Alston, Odom, Fred Young, and Bickett. And in the secondary, it's Baylor, Daniel Pryor, Ball, Chris Goode, and Keith Taylor come in in the nickel. For San Francisco, Big Bubba Paris, number one draft pick back in 82. Regal, Sapulo takes over for Randy Cross, Collie Barton, and Brent Jones, the tight end, now that Frank and Heller are gone. Craig Rathman, Rice, and Taylor are the skilled position guys. Mike Wilson will come in in passing situations. Second down, call it a long seven. Montana on play action. Looks deep and has Rice. Complete to the 35, and it's a San Francisco first down, chased out there by John Baylor. From next week. <laughs> first down at the 45. Craig high steps across the 30 to the 28-yard line. Tripped up by Harrod and Mike Pryor. Craig. He's got Briegel in front of him. And then outruns Briegel and carries it to the 22. Knocked out there by Baylor. This is Rathman. Cuts it inside with a nice break. And he's down to the 17. Montana has the first down inside the 10, and Harry Sidney carries it to the seven yard line for San Francisco. Harvard in there soon. <laughs> You're all the bottom. Montana with pressure, and he goes down at the 20, and there's a flag down. And it'll probably be holding again, but Dwayne Bickett, the linebacker. You're crazy. <laughs> Come the Colts again. Montana throws toward Rice. Incomplete. 
Good coverage on the corner by John Baylor. Eight yards out. Correction, 38. This one is long enough, and it's good. So a 38-yard field about Kofer, and San Francisco's on the board. With 6.45 remaining first quarter, it's 3-0. Chandler, quick drop goes deep. And it's complete to Bill Brooks. To the 45-yard line. Brooks had beaten McGuire. It's a gain of 33, and there is a flag. Look on the right side of your screen. That's where you're going to see that wide receiver streaking downfield. And now watch. You're going to see the, the defensive back never looks for the football. Now, as the ball is approaching, he finally reaches the next clip. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But he never reached in. First down. The lone setback is Dickerson. Chandler is mobile. To the 35. Another first down for Indianapolis. This is Dickerson. Breaks to the outside. Ball's loose. Colts get it back. Chandler, with time, has the completion. It's Clarence for Dan. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. The tackle was made by Don Griffin. And we're tied at three. So with two minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter, it's San Francisco three, Indianapolis three. Montana drills this one in the direction of Rice, breaks a tackle. Look out. Rice to the 30, taken down at the 26-yard line by Eugene Daniel after a 54-yard run. And pass him. So what do you do? You drop back 10 yards, you drop back 20 yards. No pressure on Montana to speak of there. Got a clear passing lane downfield. Rice on the stop now. Heads back inside, avoids a couple of tacklers here. Goes back across the field against the grain because he knows that's where the defensive backs have dropped off because they're in coverage on that side and makes the 54-yard reception. This is Craig on the left side. Carries it down to the 20, still battling to the 19. Roger Craig has never missed a game during his career. He is big, strong, durable, and one of the best runners in the league, if not the best, from the 19. Play action, Rathman to the 14-yard line. John Baylor takes him on. With Taylor in motion, Montana looks that way, throws to Taylor inside the 10 to the six-yard line. Wayne Bickett takes him down there. Down and one at the six. Craig, not going to get there. Look up on the top of your screen. That's where the play is going to be shut down. We talked about that attacking defense. You see the linebackers coming across. Harvey Armstrong, the nose tackle coming across. O'Brien Austin, Harvey Armstrong shut the play down in the backfield of the 49ers. A 26-yard attempt for Coker. There is a flag. And it's against Indianapolis. Well, that's going to give the 49ers a chance to go for the first. They'll have the first down and give them a chance to go for the touchdown. The field goal on the left side of your screen. Someone leaves early there. Is that Eugene Daniels? That's Eugene Daniels trying to work the corner a little bit. Montana. Rice to the one. Second goal at the one. Craig, touchdown San Francisco. Now, it's unusual when you get down the goal line, you're able to run st straight up in a wreck like Roger Craig does, but that's simply because everybody's laying out people up front for you. And here you can see it again. Watch the left side of that offensive line for the 49ers. Look at that gaping hole. Tim, I can make it through there, I think. Don't, don't go overboard. <laughs> the starting there. On third and six, Chandler has pressure. Throws this one from... to the 40-yard line. 
Tim McKay runs past him and doesn't bother to put the hand on him when he's downfield. Now watch Ryzen, number 87, on the stop here, turning on right at about the 40-yard line. Now McKay leaps over him, but nobody touches the receiver. Andre Ryzen gets up and gets about another 15 yards on the play. They call in the rocket. Sprinter on the track team in Michigan State, seven. Again, has pressure, throws to Bentley, and Bentley's down to the 32. He'll be two yards shy of a first. Chet Brooks with a nice play out there. 31. Dickerson has the first down, breaks it out to the 24. Colts have to run over this left side of their offensive line. That's where Eric Dickerson goes on this play. Over there, you've got Chris Hinton, that big number 75, blocking for you. He's an all-pro five times. That's the kind of blocking you need to get up front. Here's another look at it from the opposite side of the field. You see Eric Dickerson find that little hole up in there and just get into that daylight and run right into Ronnie Lott. Key block there by Albert Bentley. There are the numbers. We'll keep an eye on it. He's going after 10,000 for his career. Chandler. Goes deep. It's complete to the one-yard line to Billy Brooks. He didn't get in. A gain of 22. The replay booth. Bill Parkinson with all the pressure on him right now. Here's another look at it. Straight ahead up in the end zone. You see him making that swan dive in and reaching in with the ball into the end zone. I say it's six points and a touchdown. Did his knee hit first before the ball got across the plane? You can see on this play, his knee does not hit the ground before the ball reaches into the end zone. Right there. That's a touchdown. That After that with a 31-yarder. After further review, touchdown. Six remaining. First half. Montana to Taylor. To the 42-yard line. He tries to get up and run, but they marked it down. Secondary is featuring a lot of man-to-man -man coverage today, and that's what happens on this play. John Taylor springs out of there off that offensive line, just kind of breaks into the middle. The problem that I think you're going to see the Colts with is they've been playing a lot of zone, and all of a sudden they're going to man, uh, man down Craig across the 45 out the midfield and into Indianapolis territory Barber incomplete Mike Barber got a hand on it and then he got drilled by Michael Ball Dickerson breaks a tackle across the 30 to the 37 yard line ridden out by Ronnie Lott Brian Baldinger came out. Now watch him out here with uh, with Danny Stubbs, number 96. He lets Stubbs come upfield, brings him back in that backfield. Eric Dickerson breaks the ball on outside and gets good yardage on the play. He's getting a lot closer to that 10,000 right about now. Dickerson just gives himself up as flags fly. Haley and Holt both came across, but so did Verdan for the Colts. Second down, Chandler needs five. He goes with Dickerson. Dickerson to the 46-yard line, and Kevin Fagan trips him up. Third and two. Chandler drills it across the middle, incomplete, and almost intercepted. It was thrown in the direction of Brooks. Offsides, number 22 defense, lined up in the neutral zone. Tim McHire is the guilty party. Indianapolis, a first down at the 49. Dickerson to the 42-yard line. Three. Dickerson cuts inside. It'll be close to the first. Boy, Michael Carter's helmet came off and flew about five. 
yards. Nine plays, 55 yards. They've taken three minutes and 15 seconds off the clock on this drive. But this is a big third down play. They need six. Chandler gets the time he needs. Double pumps, drills it incomplete. Intended for Clarence for Dan. And Ronnie Lott, again, was the guy who broke it up. Give the Colts their first lead. Stark is the holder. Donaldson the center. And this one is not going to make it. Not even close. And indoors, you can't even use the excuse that the wind hurt your, hurt your kick. Taylor with 30 seconds left to win it. On second and 10, this is Roger Craig. Cuts back into the 40. Leans forward to the 42, and he'll be about two yards shy of the first. Now see, on that play, Jeff Briggles trying to lead outside for Roger Craig, but Briggles got to learn to tuck the, to tuck the block up in tight, so that gives Roger Craig that room to move outside. To the bottom of the screen, or rather, Rice to the bottom of the screen. This is Craig. First down. And does not get out of bounds at the 48, so the clock will continue to move and go under one minute. And the 49ers have first down at the 48. Montana to Rice to the 35-yard line. Eight and a half. Montana's got pressure. Steps into the pocket and throws it. Complete to Taylor at the 17-yard line. Eugene Daniel made the stop. The Colts show us six defensive backs. Two are deep. Montana takes it up the middle himself. Inside the 10 to the 7-yard line, and there is a flag. To any of his... Uh, Holding number 36 defense. First down. Any of his receivers... Now, the offense, these guys have been around a little while. They've been working out through camp, running that sweep. Key thing is there is to shut everything off inside. They successfully do that. That allows Roger to get back in that secondary, make a couple of guys miss, and get a couple extra yards on the play. Gain of 26. His team, the only one in the league to go through unbeaten through the preseason. And they're being tested early here in the second half. Montana has some problems now, has to run with it. Has the first down and goes out of bounds at the 15. Ole Miss, and then he was switched to tight end. So they've got a two tight end formation. Second down and eight. Craig, left side. To the seven. Craig in motion. Play action. Complete to the four yard line to Wesley Walls. It'll be a first down and goal for the 49ers. Roger Craig cuts it inside. Down to the one touchdown. Touchdown San Francisco. You see how Craig runs the ball? It looks like almost like a slingshot, the way he pulls that ball outside before. Now watch Craig. See, he's heading outside now. He's going to turn those shoulders upfield and just bring that ball right back up and slam it into the end zone, reach it back in there to make sure that he breaks the plane. There's Roger Craig over there on the sideline talking to Al Levan, who came over from the Dallas Cowboys as the running back coach. Dickerson hit immediately by Michael Carter. Taylor is deep for San Francisco. He returned two punts for touchdowns last year. Dodges a tackle here, looks for help, and gets it. All the way back to the 46-yard line. They're trying to keep the noise level down here at the Hoosier Dome, and everybody's carrying the yay and boo signs. Tim Brandt and Dan Jiggetts, we've had decibels level up to 116 already here in this ball game, and anything above the mid-90s is unsafe. Well, I think... Tell all you want. Here's the reverse to Rice. Gets a great block on the corner. First down inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. 
Oh, Jesse Sapula, number 61, on the turnaround block. Good play. Indianapolis loads up with six defensive backs. Montana under pressure. And he's sacked by Ezra Johnson, the longtime veteran from Morris Brown. Chandler with pressure had his arm knocked, and it was in the direction of Dickerson incomplete. We've already seen that. Gets a beauty. High spiraling punt will take Taylor all the way back to the 37. Great block by Harry Sidney. And Taylor takes it to the 46 yard line. Oh, what a block by Harry Sidney. Watch here now. Taylor's going to get the ball now. Watch number 31. That's Michael Ball. He's just going to get taken out on the play right there by Harry Sidney. Oh, boy. That's a big time block. The crowd seeing it now. They think he, he got hit from behind, but no, he's returning. He's turning around and reacting to the play, and that's the only way that the, the offensive guy can come in and block him. Call. We are now to receivers downfield on the kick, and the penalties decline. We have unsportsmanlike after the tackle on the receiving kicking team. It's first down. May or may not return. Flagler. Inside the 40 to the 35 and run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Third caller one. Rathman has the first down for the 49ers. That's one of those plays where on the, along the offensive and defensive lines, I tell you, they, they want you to smell the grass. Lagler on first down. To the 24-yard line. 49ers look very methodical now. Best road record in the 1980s. Four. With pressure, Montana drills this one to Rice. He'll be close to a first down, just shy. John Baylor rides him out. Two tight ends. Rathman trips through the line, still lunges forward for a yard. John Han was the man who tripped him up. Cuts it back inside the 15 to the 14. Wayne Bickett will get credit with the stop. Watch Craig. Incomplete. Michael Ball was covering on the play. Watch the coach try to block this one up the middle. Yeah, you don't kick him any better than that. Right down the pipe. And with 135 remaining now, Dan, in the third period, it's 23 to 10, 49ers. 49ers dodged a bullet there. John Hand, 6'7", broke right in over there. And I know that they had a little problem there with Harris Barton and blocking up inside on the field goals. So two yards to five for Indianapolis. And as we mentioned, they started those drives with great field position. Chandler, three-step drop. It's complete. Brooks makes a move on Griffin, takes it out to the 35. That's what the crowd wants. They want Chandler to go to the air. Dickerson to the 38-yard line. Tackle made by Michael Walter. Chandler drills this one in the direction of Brooks, who breaks the tackle and carries it into San Francisco territory at the 47. Chet Brooks makes the stop. Dickerson to Clarence Verdan. And Verdan down to the 43-yard line. Boy, they need a big play here. Chandler, double pumps. Goes deep for Verdan, and Verdan is incomplete. He wanted to call, but got none. He thought Ronnie Lott bumped him. Well, but everybody has a right to the football, and if you're running the route, the ball simply thrown in the wrong place. Second down and five. Montana with play action has pressure, and he's going to be sacked for the third time today. Ezra Johnson gets his second sack. Again, there's pressure. Montana drills this one incomplete in the direction of Rice. You know, on his own 46. He's dangerous if they can set a wall. Goes a long way to field it. Gets a block. Look out. To the 36-yard line, but there is a flag. 
Well, mistakes have been costly for Indianapolis, no question about that. Illegal use of the hands, number 48 on the receiving team. First down, timeout. Best starting field position for the Colts today. This is first down at the 45. Chandler throws underneath. And it's complete to Wells with a lot of room. Down to the 37-yard line. Based on the opponent's win percentage from last season, second is Buffalo, Pittsburgh, New England, and the L.A. Rams. Chandler, three-step drop throws. Andre Risen to the 32, but there is a flag. It appears it's going to be holding on the offensive line. Illegal use of the hands, number 91 defense, first down. That's Larry Roberts, yep. first down to Dickerson. To the 25-yard line. Dickerson gets outside, inside the 20. He's down to the 15, he's got the record. Dickerson becomes the seventh back in NFL history to go over 10,000. hand side good blocking up front but hey what can you say the great one just takes it on outside gets more than he needs to break 10,000 and delivers a little bit of a blow there as well knocked down by Charles Haley big number 94 he's six foot five put that bear paw up and just slapped it away well, I tell you but he, between he and Larry Roberts really just came in and slapped that thing down club the 10,000 yard club and he's done it in 91 games Jim Brown did it in 98 Simpson 110, Walter Payton, 113. I was there for a few of those. Tony Dorsett, 122. Of course, Dallas didn't run the ball as much. This is Dickerson. Down to the 10-yard line. Ball was blown dead already. No fumble. Chandler double pumps him. He scrambled out of there. He stops and throws it away. Well, he was awfully close to the line of scrimmage when he threw that football. The lone setback is Albert Bentley. Fourth and six. Chandler drills it. Touchdown Indianapolis. No. He's down at the one. Clarence Weathers at the one-yard line. They wouldn't give it to him. And I'm sure Indianapolis is going to want to take another look at this. Look at Ron Meyer. He's all the way out in the field. He's excited. He says number 85 is going to make the reception. Gutsy call on the part of Ron Meyer, the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts, as Clarence Weathers closes in on the goal line. Now watch his knee go down to the ground as he is tackled just before he gets into the end zone. And as a result, the ball is down on about the, I'd say, the six-inch line. Chandler. No signal yet. forward to 28. Second down and three. This is Craig. Breaks two tackles, breaks three tackles, and drives his way out to the 38-yard line. It's apparent George Seifert is taking the offense, going up to his offensive coordinator, Mike Holmgren, to say, hey, look, Mike, I want to keep it real basic. I want to go to the running game. Montana. Colts are coming. To Rice. He's got lots of room. Inside the 10. Touchdown San Francisco. 58 yards. Part 
of being world champions, you know, you get in this tough situation, a tight situation, you know how to go down and get it done. You have the personnel to get it done. Jerry Rice, the top of your screen, number 80. Little fake in there, now slides inside, underneath the coverage, comes flat across, across the field. Now he makes the great reception, and now watch him take off. Beautiful run here. John Taylor was signaling touchdown when Jerry Rice still had 10 yards to go. I think uh, Jerry might have appreciated the block more than the touchdown call on this thing. But Gooden was the guy that got burned on the plate right up underneath. Really, it was Eugene Daniel who had the coverage, and he got picked off by his own man. They call this their speed attack. Handler drills this one complete to Andre Rising, the rookie. Chandler has more time this time, throws deep in the direction of Brooks. Brooks makes a great catch, but he's out of bounds. Oh, he caught it right over top of Tim McKire, but they came down outside. Indeed, it would be a good catch, but in this case, his own impetus takes him out of foul. bounds. Roughing the passer, number 91, defense, first down. That's Larry Roberts, who's called for roughing the passer, so they move the chains again. Dickerson breaks the tackle. Dances inside the 35 to the 32-yard line. Michael Walter trips him up. Chandler, quick drop. This is to Ryzen. He can fly. Down to the 15-yard line. Don Griffin makes the tackle. You can hear Chris Chandler going red 81, red 81. Usually whenever you're playing, you want a hot call. You use the colors of the team that you're playing against. In this case, red and white. Trail by 13. This is Chandler to Dickerson. Inside the 10 to the 9. Down and three. Chandler in a whole lot of trouble. And he's called into grass. So it's back to the 21-yard line. Michael Walter, and the clock is at 223. Chandler, incomplete. Thrown over the head of Rising. Chandler, intercepted. McKire, back to the 24, 25-yard line. Tim McKire, and that should do it. Tim yeah, Colts offense now, unless the defense can do something. Craig with a great cut inside, carries it across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Tim McKire is another guy who does not lack confidence. No, certainly doesn't. He told us about his trip down to Rio. He went down to Brazil and had a great time down there. Brought a lot of confidence back with him. It's third down and 10 for the 49ers. his way across the 40 up to the 44 yard line will not have the first down 137 remaining in the ball game Odom and Bickett make the tackle Seifert to get his first win I think you're, you're thinking of the Sabatini I'm thinking match. of the Sabatini match I'm sorry Helton is punting it for San Francisco and it's locked Ivy Joe Hunter is in pursuit signal yet. Both are saying they've got the touchdown. Touchdown Indianapolis. Six with 128 remaining in the ball game. Albert Bentley gets credit for the touchdown. With a key block on the punt of Barry Helton right here. Dude number 37 just comes up and slaps it away. Looks like an NBA rejection. Joe Hunter just plays roll the ball to the end zone. And the Colts recover down in there. Good for the score. The Asushi, the kicker. Well, he keeps this one airborne. And it's recovered by the 49ers at the 44-yard line. Johnny Jackson. Is the man who recovered it. Well, what that's he, strange. What he's trying to do is hit one of the upfront players with the ball and have it bounce off of him. The future of CBS Sports is Ted Shaker. So the world champion, San Francisco 49ers, will start the 1989 campaign with a win. They'll go 1 0. Ron Meyer and Indianapolis will go 0 1. More importantly, that man making his debut as the 12th coach in 49er history starts out. In the shadow of a legend, Bill Walsh, but he starts with a win. That's
the end of the game. 49ers winning it 30 to 24.